Spencer Jeff here and welcome to my corner and welcome to open box number two. Now today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Tacom's newest release, uh, the uh, or newer release, the US Army Quarterton Armor Truck. Now we say truck but we all know this is an, uh, a Willis Jeep on steroids. Now first of all before we go any further I would like to express my gratitude to Sprue Brothers for sending me this sample and they are available, they are in stock so if you're interested you can go to their website at spruebrothers.com and I'm sure uh, they will accommodate you. Now there are a lot of uh, uh, Willis Jeeps on the market. I remember 40, 35, 40 years ago Italeri came out with, their fir with the first decent one and then soon after a lot of other manufacturers followed uh, like Ravel, like uh, I think AFE and then uh, uh, Tamiya did their second version of the Willis Jeep which is an absolute uh, jewel. Now this one uh, when I opened the box uh, I admit I already took a sneak peek uh, when I opened the box uh, I can't say it blew me away but it definitely got my attention and um, I'll show you why so let's not lose any more momentum and let's see what's inside the box. Now before we go any further let's talk a little bit about box art. As I mentioned before in other videos box art has always been very important to me. Uh, for the simple reason that uh, if it's really well done, that's already 50% uh, of the purchase. And uh, also, uh, it, uh, it puts your fantasy in motion. I can already now see what I'm going to do with this kit and how I'm going to weather it. Now, I've been misled a few times by buying a kit uh, sight unseen uh, just by going by the box art. And then you come home, you open it up, and of course, uh, <laughs> the plastic is not what you had envisioned. But in this case, I'm not too worried because Tacom is top notch, so it's all good. So uh, let's see what, uh, what's inside. Now in the beginning of the video, I said that I was almost blown away or at least it, yeah, the pieces got my attention. And that's because of when I picked up the first piece like this, the upper body, let's say, uh, I just, <laughs> I realized how nice, thin and crisp this is and delicate. Uh, I've seen the other kits, uh, usually they have like a thicker edge here around because manufacturers, uh, they really have to be very careful in how they, they make their molds in just to get it out, just make sure that there is enough uh, wall thickness uh, to not run into problem during production. But Tacom really, absolutely uh, got it really narrowed down. And I'm sure if I would put a caliper on this, that uh, if I would scale it down, I would come close to, or scale it up actually, that I would come co uh, co close to, uh, to realism. So um, very, very well done, very crisp, very neat detail. Uh, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Same thing with the, uh, with the chassis. Uh, it's in one piece, which I like because sometimes manufacturers, they make them like in separate pieces and then you have to put the spacers in between and align it. And uh, it takes a lot of work, a lot of cleaning, but Tacom did this in one piece and uh, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, once you put it together, it's an absolutely drop in. And uh, I can already tell that it's going to be a fun build. So uh, very nicely done. And then of course we have uh, the, the general parts and you have the wheels here, uh, the seats, uh, very well detailed. Uh, you get different uh, textures on the cushions. Uh, you get absolutely some uh, like here, you get an extra rifle, you get the back seats. Um, very, very well done. Uh, then we got the parts with uh, that to complete the body. We got the hood and the piece of the hood. We got the windscreen. Got the front of the engine. Uh, I'm sorry, the the, uh, the front of the of the Jeep, where for the engine compartment. And uh, we got the uh, an absolutely nicely, very nicely detailed dashboard. Uh, we got uh, exhaust here, radiator, and when you look closely, I don't know if you can really see it, but this is absolutely. Uh, just so intricate, so clean and crisp, uh, very well detailed. Uh, as far as the best, uh, best Willy Jeep so far on the market, as far as I'm concerned. And we have the last sprue here. Uh, we got like a radio, and then we got all these extra jerry cans, in the shovel, uh, axe. Uh, we got the uh, caliber 50 mount, and we got the, uh, the caliber 50. And again, as with Meng, as in the Meng kit, this caliber 50 is, uh, to me, it's like as good as it gets. You know, it's really, really very well detailed. So absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I hope, maybe I'll include some pictures in this video at the end, uh, some detailed shots. So uh, very, very nice. Then uh, last but not least, we, well, yeah, we have, uh, of course, the windscreen here. 
got actually two, one with wipers, one without. Don't know why they did that, but it's extra. If you screw one up, we got another one. And then, of course, we got the, uh, the photo edge fret for the armored plating. And then we got like a little decal sheet. Uh, I looked at the profile, at the color profiles, which are done by Ammo. And uh, they depict uh, uh, basically, I think, three versions, if I'm not mistaken, three or four versions of the 82nd Airborne between the period of 1944 and late 1945. So again, that's an extra, an extra plus. And of course, the, uh, the instruction sheet is uh, straightforward. Now, <clears throat> a Willis Jeep, like I said, is not, not really uh, a, 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 big, a big kit. There's not a lot of parts to it. Well, actually, I can't say that. Uh, there's enough parts that will keep you busy for a little bit. But it's not really like a complex build, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to start it immediately. Although I am doing some other stuff, and I'm, I'm really, really behind with, with all my builds, but I just can't resist starting this. Uh, it's like a little snack, you know, after a meal or between meals. You, you just want to uh, munch on something, and I think I'm going to do this. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to use this as, a, so like I said, like a, like a plastic snack that I can uh, finish before what am I what am I actually talking about just forget what I said but uh, absolutely uh, absolutely I'm gonna start this right away because uh, this is I'm, I'm really interested or really curious how it's gonna look once it's built up so uh, one of the things I need to do as soon as possible so uh, I think that's about that's about all all it is uh, again uh, very very beautiful kit they they hit the nail right on the head it's absolutely uh, a beautiful combination with the box art together with the uh, with the kit and uh, i think tacom did a very very good job on this one so okay guys that was it uh, please give us a thumbs up subscribe on youtube like and share us on facebook and i'll see you guys next time jeffy here signing off